Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful pink eyeshadow look. This is so easy yet gorgeous look you can do if you don't have a lot of time and I share some tips and tricks. That way it can be easy for you to recreate. So I hope this tutorial is helpful and I hope you like this makeup. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button to be a part of this family and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos and give this video a big thumbs up please if you do like this look. And now let's get started. So first, for the primer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camel Concealer. I'm going to apply a little bit on my eyelid and blend it out with my finger. I do it in tapping motions until the tone is even all over my eyelid and everything is nice and blended out all the way up to my brow bone. If you want to see a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, I'll leave those videos because I do have a few. I'll leave them in the description box below. To set the concealer, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from LA Girl Pro Mastery and I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here using a brush from Pro Fusion. I'm going to set that in tappy motions, that way the concealer doesn't move. And you can also use a translucent powder or a pressed powder and setting the concealer is going to help a lot to blend out the eyeshadows a lot faster and easier. So I highly recommend it if you're a beginner. This next step is another step that I highly recommend for beginners and that is to use tape if you want to do the style of eyeshadows and it's just going to be a lot easier to apply eyeshadows without focusing too much on that part right there because the tape is just it's just going to be very helpful. So do not skip the step for this look and from the same eyeshadow palette I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here and I'm using e.l.f. Cosmetics crease brush and I'm going to apply this on my eyelid from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner and I'm just gonna do it in swiping motions going back and forth and since I did set the concealer I don't have to apply it in tapping motions I can just swipe it on there and you can obviously see that the eyeshadow isn't that dark so I'm gonna be applying a few layers just to deepen up the color a little bit and but I always start by applying it on the crease and then when I'm blending it out it's slowly gonna start moving towards the eyebrows so I'm just gonna keep doing that step and since I did set the concealer again it's gonna be so easy to blend out the eyeshadows so it's just gonna be a quick step before I apply the next eyeshadow I want you guys to see the difference right here on this eye over here it looks really nice on the eyelid and the crease like the shades look really nice and blended out and on the other eye it doesn't look that good because eyeshadow doesn't look nicely blended out on the eyelid and I didn't want the eyelid to be the same shade as my crease I wanted it to be a bit lighter so I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here from the same palette and I'm going to apply it on my eyelid just t tapping motion swiping it doesn't really matter just as long as it's there and it's I'm just, it's just helping uh, to blend out the eyeshadow a lot better. I don't know if I just made sense or not, but I hope you guys understand. But yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that. Now I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here using this brush from Profusion number ES6 and I'm going to apply it on the outer corner of my eyelid just on the eyelid where it touches also touches the tape and once I apply most of the product right there you can see it doesn't go over the crease a lot but I'm going to start blending it out so that dot's going to be get a little bigger so I'm going to blend it out towards the center of the eyelid the crease and above the crease like I'm going to extend it just a little bit towards the tail of my eyebrow but not too much because I obviously don't want to cover up the very first eyeshadow I applied on the crease. I just want the outer corner to be a little bit darker. And the eyelashes that I'm going to be applying are from Anastasia Style Dreamy. And I feel like the this style goes perfect with this look because the eyelashes are short from the inner corner and then longer towards the outer corner. And it goes perfect with the eyeshadow because I extended the eyeshadows a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but the eyeshadows also go like towards the tail of the eyebrow. And I just feel like it's perfect for this look. Now I'm going to grab the shimmery eyeshadow right here with this little sponge and I'm going to apply it on the waterline and it just gives it a really cute bronzy shimmer on the waterline. You can also use a q-tip to apply this or if you just have the eyeliner just use the eyeliner but this is a very easy and helpful tip if you want a different color on your waterline but don't have the eyeliner you can just use eyeshadow. 
And again, I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here using this small brush. This one comes in, comes in the Rimmel eyeshadow palette and I'm going to apply it on my or under my eyelashes from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of this mascara from She Glam on my lower lashes. I just want them to be a little bit visible. I don't want them to stand out like that much. So I'm just going to apply a little bit. Now for the last step, I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here using a tiny brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I'm going to apply it on the inner corner. And this is actually my favorite part of this look because I'm not only going to apply it right on the inner tear duct, I'm also going to apply it on the inner part of my eyelid just a little bit and then just blend it out like towards the center but not too much. And I just feel like it gives it like this really cute pink glowing you can also use like a gold shimmer it'll also look really cute or a purple shimmer or a highlight but yeah i feel like this step right here changes the whole look and it just makes your eyes stand out and it looks really cute so for me this look can literally be for any occasion anything any special occasion or school or work for the daytime or night so i really hope you guys like this look let me know in the comments below what you think and when you what you give it for on a scale of 1 to 10. Please, please share this video if you like the look and if it was helpful and give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye!